Here we are in the Charles W. and Norma C. Carroll Gallery in the Visual Arts Center in Huntington, West Virginia. Now, what you're going to be seeing is a view of the gallery as though you were actually able to walk through it. And as we progress through this video, uh, you're going to get a chance to look at the artworks up close and in the order perhaps that you might see them if you were actually able to walk through. First up we have Three Vessels by Zane Pinson. Zane is a student at Marshall and he's graduating this year. Next up, we have two works by an artist named Mikey Windsor. He's a painter. And this is a cabinet made in the mid-century modern aesthetic. The artist is Chase Markham. He lives in Huntington, and he learned uh, carpentry from his grandfather. Joseph Morzik made these three paintings, and because of technology, we get a chance to look at them in a really slow way as the camera pans across, and you'll get a chance to see some details that ordinarily you couldn't see because if you got that close, well, you'd probably get scolded. So, one good thing, right? Joseph's paintings are really a good example of how you don't you don't have to have interesting subject matter to make a beautiful work of art. Bowls and bags are interesting in their own way, but you know. Look at that. Did you ever think if you're a if you're a painter or if you've ever tried to draw anything that it might be okay to let the edges go a little bit like that and that the object wouldn't fall apart? It's the kind of painting that makes you look at everything in a different way. This is another set of vessels by Zane Penson, and Zane is, is doing an interesting thing here because he's taking found vessels and then applying graffiti images to them. Kelly Asbury painted this image in oil paint. Now, it looks like a watercolor. And for very good reason, the painting processes that she is using really are designed to use the white of the paper 
to uh, act as a light source for the painting. She's also very interested in the look of fluidity in her painting as it relates to her content, which has to do with sensuality. Sarah Fox is a recent Marshall University graduate, and this painting is just fantastic to view up close like this. Look at those hands. Such a wonderful painter. Dan John, Death of a Horse. This is a mixed media piece, and it's a really exciting piece in general, but when you get up close, you can really see all of the intense layering of Mark. The surface is so exciting, and you can see that there are places in the edges of the work where the marks carry right over into the borders. More pieces by Zane Pinson. These two works are by an artist named A.V. Rickner and A.V. is drawing on top of photographs. Making really beautiful feather-like textures on top of uh, images of people. Here we have a painting that is actually made on a tarp and the painting is not stretched on canvas so it's stretched on the wall, intensely layered and really really obsessive in the patterning. Really astonishing level of control, especially given the size. Here we have a drawing by Nicholas Ruth. Two photographs by Michael Hauer. Michael is a, an alum of the National Jury Exhibition and Huntington and Marshall. Two drawings by Christopher Troutman. They are beautiful drawings to view from a distance, and fortunately, because of technology, again, we get to have a slow pan and see things that, you know, you might not notice about the drawings if you just looked at them quickly from a distance. These are drawings that really pay off when you pay extra attention to those small areas. You 
he's doing an interesting thing with space. Sometimes you feel like you could walk right in, and then sometimes there are areas of flatness. Soraya Robinette is also a recent graduate of the School of Art and Design. And this piece is uh, made with printmaking processes. Dylan Collins, Memory Vessel. David Hicks made this gigantic drawing, Long Division. It's a really incredible composition. It is so large, and it's actually three separate panels that work together as one. And here we have uh, another piece by David Hicks, a drawing called Cycle. and a print by Kyle Shepard. <laughs> 